With more people at home because of the COVID crisis, there are a lot of opportunities for scammers. One of the biggest spikes in fraud we're seeing are online puppy scams. The Better Business Bureau says these scams are up more than 300% in Pennsylvania. 11 Investigates' Angie Moreski shows us what to look out for. Ashley Williams is an animal lover and wanted to add a puppy to her family. I just typed in St. Bernard puppies for sale near me. This Facebook ad popped up with an irresistible puppy picture. I love dogs. She was hooked. Ashley messaged the site asking if any pups were available. Sure enough. Altogether it was 510 for the puppy. That was quite a deal for a St. Bernard pup, but then surprise fees due to COVID. So they needed a thousand dollars for the insurance and also to build a box for the puppy for the puppy to be transferred in. Her parents helped cover the costs. More than two thousand dollars later, still no puppy. They just taking people's money and getting away with it. They just getting away with it. No, I don't know really how people can just do do stuff like that. You know, I just don't don't see it. How people can be that heartless. Unfortunately, it's happening more and more during this pandemic. Take a look here. This is the BBB scam tracker. I searched for puppy scams and look at all of these dots. Those are complaints made in Pennsylvania this year alone, up more than 300%. COVID-19, it's really created that situation for scammers to capitalize on more people who are looking to add a furry family member. We tried to call the same number the Williams did. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. But now, no one answers. Those pictures of all the puppies that they so-called had. Be warned, the BBB estimates 80% of these online puppy ads are fraudulent. The majority of these scams tend to rely on bogus advertisements that are on internet search results or on places like social media and Facebook to hook unsuspecting people. Red flags to watch out for? Extra fees for things like COVID insurance a special protective crate or a COVID vaccine, which doesn't even exist. They're also refusing to allow people to see a pet in person, claiming that it's due to safety restrictions. Another sign of trouble, requests to pay through gift cards, wire transfer, or cash apps like Zelle tied directly to your bank account. I sent the 800 from Zelle. My parents sent the 1,000 and I sent the 510 through the gift card. It's just like handing over cash, nearly impossible to trace. Our bank right now well, we I done disputed it five times and they will not help us get our money back. They even filed a police report but still no luck. They scammed us out of money and I still didn't get the puppy. If you're looking for a puppy, it's best to go to a local shelter or a local rescue like Animal Lifeline Pittsburgh or even a local breeder. That way you can see your puppy first in person before you buy. And if you do go to a breeder, be wary of extra cheap prices. Do your research to know the going rate for any breed. Angie Moreski, 11 Investigates.